I'm a hydrogeologist. My model in life is think out of the box. My name, Marcel. My experience, groundwater and soil contaminations. I'm the creator of GeoRGB. A channel of geographic information systems, GIS, geology, hydrogeology and contamination. The purpose, the objective, the goal, the intention, the target, the desire. Share my experience and acknowledge to create points of discussion. The GeoRGB community. Promote the use of free and open source software. A free digital society. Provide technical advice to environmental companies an opportunity for professional growth. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to watch how to use the Quantum GIS CAD tools to create a gas station facility map using a Google Earth High Resolution Satellite Imagery. In this occasion, the map is going to be a gas station, but you can use these tools to create any kind of map. For example, cadastre maps, production plan map, oil and gas facility map, EDC. I am going to be using the free software Quantum GIS version 3.12 and Google Earth Pro. Okay, let's go to do it. Today we are going to be using the Google Earth high resolution satellite imagery that we downloaded at the previous tutorial. If you missed that one and you want to watch it, just hit on the card at the top right corner of your screen over here. To open the file, just click here, select raster option, click here for look for your file, and it was this image. Open and add. Close. As you can see, this image is already georeferenced, and if we go to the properties, the coordinate reference systems is WES 84 UTM zone 34 north and the system is projected because we want to have the measures in in meters okay this this image as you can see takes a little bit of time to charge that is because it's quite heavy let's go to see the characteristics of this file go properties uh, as you can see, the size is 429 megabytes. Okay, that's uh, quite heavy. And we decided to, to get this resolution to have a really good resolution for the Google Air uh, satellite imagery. But now we are going to change this resolution because for the editing, we don't need uh, that high resolution. Then we are going to download the same image but with a different resolution okay to do that one i'm going to close this one this car and open again to see a step by step i recommend to watch the previous video okay i'm not going to explain anything now just i'm going to to get a low resolution uh, satellite imagery let's go here google satellite and I want to load the other image also. Here, open, add, close this one. Zoom to the layer is this area. Then I'm going to change here the coordinate reference systems for this one. Apply, okay going to take this one out and I'm going to go to raster tools here convert to raster double click now let's go to fill all these parameters first the extension for the image we are going to use the third option 
select the image because we want the same dimensions for the new image okay this one is like that like that in this one at the previous video we selected a resolution of 0.01 in this case it's going to be 0.05 because we want less resolution and here the layer we are going to rent is google satellite and here we are going to save the file with the same name but here we are going to put a number two save and run the process it's interesting to see how the dimensions of the image 2 is bigger than the image as you can see but we put the same extension right i tried to figure out what's going on and i couldn't find any solution because i was checking even here when we put the coordinates here if we use this option and we select this area the same area as before we, we have the same result even the coordinates are good we have an image bigger I don't know what's going on I don't know how to fix it but it's not a big deal for us we can use this image okay now let's go to see how much is the difference between these images as you can see here the previous it was 429 megabytes but for the second one even it's bigger it is just 27 megabytes okay and if we compare the quality of the image we are going to see that it's not a big difference that is for the new one that's for the this one that is heavy you know the second one is more pixel but for editing it's not going to be a big deal right and that one you can move this one very fast and load very fast okay there is no problems for this one even we can keep both images and if we need more resolution we can change for this one but i don't think so now i'm going to tell you what uh, elements we are going to edit in for the map we are going to create and that ones are going to be the ones related only with the petroleum facility in this case is going to be for example the overhead canopy this one here also we are going to edit all the manhole all these ones also we are going to be editing the fill pipes where the tanks are filled over here also all the pumping islands like this one this one and also the ones are under the overhead canopy also we are going to edit the store this one here also we are going to delineate the underground storage tank area and also the trench drains over here also over here and under the overhead uh, canopy and we are going to edit also the perimeter of the gas station and the main road here now let's go to save the project save and let's go to activate all the tools we are going to need then click right here and you can choose the tools you need in this case we are going to use the advanced digitalizing toolbar also we are going to need the shape digitalizing toolbar and also the snapping toolbar we are going to create different layers for the different elements for example one layer could be for the road another one could be for the tanks and then in that way we can make a specific additions for each part okay then to create a new layer just go here layer create a new layer new shape file layer then field name I created a folder for all the shape files in 
my gas station folder. I'm going to select this one, and this one is going to be the gas station perimeter. Save. The file encoding system is good. The geometry type is going to be a line. The additional dimensions, none, it's okay. Here the coordinates is going to be this coordinate system. The WGS84 UTM Sun 34 North, okay. And this one, I'm not really worried about this one because we are not going to use the attribute table, okay, then, okay. And the layer is already created. For this layer, we are going to use a couple of different kind of lines. To start the edition, click right on the layer and click on this pencil here. Okay, is this one here? Is the same one? Then we are going to be using this line and also this curve line. We can com combine both of them. To start, let's go to start with the curve one. We are going to start over here. To use this tool, it's not really intuitive. It's just practice. Okay, it's just making points and trying to make the curve, as you can see here on the satellite imagery. And it's important when it's a straight line, like now, you can choose this one. You can go until here. When something is not clear, like now, you can use Google Earth to have a better idea about the gas station. That's what I'm going to do now, okay? Just go to Google Earth. I have my gas station here, and you have to press this option here. Then take this icon and drop here at the gas station. For the blue line is where you have pictures to see. Then use these arrows to move. And from here you can see the perimeter of the gas station. And that's what I want to see how it looks like. Now I want to see if this area is also part of the gas station. Go here. And as you can see, it looks like it's part of the gas station. You can see the fence here. Okay, I'm going to add it. Now I'm going to select again this one option, this option here, to make the curve. And now the straight line. When it is done, just click right, put an ED number, for example one, and OK. And the addition is completed. That's the perimeter of the gas station. To finish the edition, there are a couple of options. Just press here or also click right here and press the pencil again and save. Okay, now we are going to save the project again. Now we are going to create the main hall, all these squares here. To do that one again, go to layer, create layer, new shape file. This one is going to be main hole. Save. In this case, fill encoding is the same, but geometry type is going to be a polygon. Okay, the coordinate systems, as we said before, is this one. Okay, and we are not worried about the this section here because we are not going to use the attribute table okay the layer is here then if we want to edit we can click here or also click right click here okay in this case let's go to press this button here and we want to create a squares because as you can see this is our squares okay then here there are different options the one we are going to use is the third one this time from second and third point then go here select one of them if you want to have a better resolution you can change the image if you want 
for this one, but as you can see, it doesn't change too much. Just select two points here and move like this one. Click right to finish, put a number there, it's going to be number one. And okay, that is already created. Then we can go here, double click to properties, select here, and we can take. We can put this one as a transparent and the line is good black apply okay and now we are going to copy and page for the different ones to do that one just select the feature in this case this one you can go here copy and then paste or even with your keyboard you can press ctrl c and ctrl v that is what what i'm going to do ctrl c ctrl v and then press here this option to move features click here and now you can move and click here to place okay now it's going to be the same for this one ctrl c ctrl v copy paste and then we're going to move this one from here to here okay and the same for the next one Okay, now the edition is finished, we can press here to deselect the feature and now click the pencil to finish the edition and save. Now we have all the main holes. Now we, with the same method we are going to do the overhead canopy. Okay, now we can go here, properties, change this one, we want transparent and the line is going to be the same, apply and OK. To finish the edition, just press this button here, save. If you are new in this channel and you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. Don't forget to like, share this channel with your friends. If you have comments, please leave them below. I love to hear from you. And if you have any suggestion for the upcoming videos, I love to hear those too. Now we are going to edit the field pipes. Is this area over here. To have a better idea, we can check on the Google Earth image. Here, as you can see, there are four different fill pipes. It's one per tank. But if, if we go to check the tanks, let's go to check here. There is like just three tanks, but I believe this one is one tank, this one is another tank, and this one is the third one, but that one could be divided in two, okay? That it makes four tanks in total, right? Then also, if we check the dispensers for the gas, you are going to see that there is there are four different products. Okay, as you can see here, not in this one, but if you move to the next one, you are going to see that there are four different products, and that one match with the field pipes and also with the tanks okay let's go to do that one for this one let's go to create a new layer shape file i'm going to call this one field pipes save and this one is the same for this one is going to be a polygon this one is going to be this coordinate reference systems and for this one it's not important now okay and let's go to edit let's go to use the square here again and in this case i'm going to make a big square here something like that 
okay and now I'm going to divide this one in four okay but I'm going to take the image and I'm going to change this one for properties make this one transparent right, okay and now I'm going to use this square for reference to to make the other squares okay just go here this option activate this one this one could be a one over here okay and the next one is going to be over here two okay the next one three over here okay and now i'm going to fix the dimension for the squares that one is going to be the last one okay four and now we can press here to edit the squares have to make this one smaller something like this the next one I'm going to pass the video faster, okay guys? Okay, that's already created. Now what I'm going to do is uh, select the big one, this one, and now I'm going to remove that one. Okay, just click this option here to remove, select, and that's it. Now we can save, finish the edition and save. Now we have the fill pipes. Now I am going to create the store, but as it's the same as these squares, I'm going to pass the video faster, okay? Okay, the story is already created, as you can see. Now we are going to create the pump islands. As you can see, there is one here, there is one small here, and there is four under here. Okay, I'm going to show you with this one, as you can see. Here there is a small one, here there is one, and here there is four more. One, two, three, three and four, okay? As you can see, there are run over here and straight ahead here. But one interesting thing that I saw is that they change the dispensers because as you can see here if you check from here it's a different picture I'm going to show you now okay if you go here and you check the dispensers these ones are new ones and you can see just one two and three Okay, and that ones were removed. Okay, but we are going to consider the old gas station just to simplify the the Palm Iceland because that ones are more complex. Okay, and I'm going to do just the other ones. For the position, as you can see, these ones, these three make a line more or less. And for the other ones, just taking some points of reference to locate the islands under the overhead canopy. Let's go inside the gas station. As you can see, we have the main holes over here and the islands are a little bit in that 
direction you see more or less to have an idea where they have to be located okay the same here over here and there is another reference also related with the uh, trained drains here okay let's go to use all these references to locate the pump islands under the overhead canopy first we are going to create a new layer this one is going to be pump pump and it's going to be a polygon coordinate system this one okay okay properties we are going to change this one to transparent and apply and we are going to start the edition and we are going to use also an square then we are going to make an square here from here to here and to here something like that okay and now we are going to modify this square okay to do that one go to this option here click mark on the island here click and now you can change these parameters this one there we go we can make something like that okay that one is going to be our island let's see how it looks like and then we can save as we said before this kind of shape is for the old islands if you see now the new ones the shape it's a little bit different right i'm going to show you with the uh, google alert as you can see the new ones are making a different kind of shape we are going to leave the the shape for the uh, old islands but i'm going to show you how to do that kind of shape okay to do that one you can use this tool here press first the edition then use this tool here and you can make here one square something like this one you can use the the reference also something like this one then it's approximately something like that okay close and as you can see sorry i want to take this one the shape changed okay then you can do the same here for this one Okay, you have to start in an opposite direction. Control Z, then you have to start from outside to inside to make the cut. Okay, something like this one. And then you have this kind of shape, okay? Let's go to remove it because we are going to leave that kind of shape. And let's go to finish also the edition. And uh, now it's time to move all the all the dispensers. Let's go to do that one. First, let's go to save the project. And now let's go to move it. As I said before, yes. Open the edition. Select the feature to move. Copy and paste. Press this option here click on the feature and let's get to move it okay and also we are going to create a small square here for the small uh, dispenser over here to that one just click this option and make here a small dispenser something like that okay and that's it finish the this layer for the edition save and that's the dispensers 
for the gas station. Now I'm going to create the, the rest of the perimeter of the gas station and also the main road over here. But to do that one, I'm going to pass the video faster. The geometry is going to be also aligned like, like this one. Even for the, the rest of the perimeter of the gas stations, can I use the same layer, this one? And for the road, I can create a new layer. But I'm going to pass the video faster. Okay, I created the rest of the perimeter of the gas station and also the main road. Now what I'm going to create is the train drains. I'm going to show you what is that. It's better here. It's this kind of system. There is a run of the pump islands. If there is any spill here, can be collected with this drain uh, trench. Okay, we have these ones here where the pumps are, and also we have here at the entrance of the gas station over here. I'm going to approach over here, as you can see, and also we have at the exit of the gas station. I'm going to show you is this system here. And also I'm going to show you how it looks like inside the gas station to have a better idea. Okay, this one is the one inside the gas station. Okay, as you can see, it makes a perimeter for all the pump islands. From here to all this one. All this line here to here and also at the other side of the gas station as you can see over here make a curve you can see right there okay now we are going to do this one and that one is going to be a polygon geometry and also I'm going to pass the video faster to do that one The train uh, drains are already finished. I'm going to change the symbology. Just put this one transparent. And now what I'm going to do is uh, create the, the lips for the, the counter separator and the place where we can take the sample, right? Because the, the train drains has the potential to transport water with hydrocarbons from the pine islands, right? If there is a spill over here. And then these, these trains are connected with a treatment water system. I'm going to show you what kind of system is. Is this one, for example. As you can see, in this case, there is a deposit where the it's a, at the counter where the sediments can be placed over here and then this water passes over here and here there is a filter that avoids to pass the, the hydrocarbons from this area to this area. Then the water passes over here and then pass this kind of valve that also avoid the pass of hydrocarbons and then move from here to the, a small deposit where you can take a sample. Then from that small deposit, the water moves to the sewer system, right? But as you don't want to throw water with hydrocarbons to the sewer system, we have this kind of treatment system connected to the trench drains. 
And at the gas station, I was trying to identify that one. Uh, what I saw is these lips here has the potential to be a decanter and separator of hydrocarbons, but I'm not sure 100% where is the treatment system. Also, I saw these two lips here and one small here, and I believe I'm going to use these ones as a decanter and separator, and this one for the place you can take the sample be before to throw the water to the sewer system, okay? But as I said, I'm not 100% sure, okay? The gas station is quite big. There are different lips and could be any of these ones, right? But for this example, I'm going to use these ones for the water treatment, for the trains, drains, okay? Let's go to edit these ones then. To edit these ones is just uh, three squares and you know how to do it already, then I'm going to pass the video faster. The water treatment system is already created, as you can see here, a couple of lips and this one to take the samples. That one, I suppose, is going to be the decanter the and this one is going to be the separator and this one is going to be the place where you can take the samples to verify the uh, water treatment system works properly. Then the next step is going to make uh, the area where the tanks are. Okay, we don't have any reference on the map to identify this area, but I'm going to mark as, as this one, okay? That's the next step, and I'm going to pass the video faster. Okay, the, the tank area is created, save, and I'm going to change the symbology. Properties, I'm going to make this one transparent apply and i'm going to make a line here with with dogs to indicate that it's something that it's not real is it's imaginary right then i'm going to edit this one a little bit with this tool here I'm going to remove this area from here to here something like that and also i'm going to change this one a little bit from here to here okay something like that okay that was good and now i'm going to change the symbology properties I'm going to use this one solid line something like this one apply or even a different one this one okay something like that is good and now also I'm going to edit some elements and I'm going to improve the symbology to have a, a better better draw but in general that's the aspect you want for a gas station but now for example we can make some elements to make this one more clear for example we can make these arrows these ones here and maybe if you want to do the lines of the road also could be good some elements that are going to identify the gas station better right but it depends how much time you want to spend and as i said now i'm going to mark all the areas we edit because that ones are the the ones related with the petroleum activity at the gas station. Okay, let's go to do that one. First, let's go to remove this one. Okay, then the elements with potential risk of contamination are going to be the fill uh, pipes, the water treatment system for the train, the tank area, and the uh, pump islands this one this one here these two and these ones and also the trench drain okay 
All these elements are the ones with potential of contamination in a gas station. Also, of course, the pipes that connect the fill pipes with the tanks, all these pipes here from here to here to here and to here, and also the connections between the tanks and the, and the islands, right? From here to here and EDC, right? Um, for for this small for this small uh, dispenser here that we can sew here, I believe is this one here. I believe this one has a different tank. Maybe this this uh, dispenser is for uh, for a small more motorcycles that it needs a different kind of uh, gasoline with a different kind of components. And here there is a couple of lips. This one, and also I saw one more over here, and this one, right? Maybe one of these ones is a small tank for for this dispenser. I'm not sure 100%, but it could be possible. But I'm not going to edit these uh, lips, okay? Now I'm going to edit some elements at the gas station to have a better draw, but I'm going to pass the video faster. In this case, I'm going to use this tool to make the arrows. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple, just follow the lines. And it's a very easy tool to use. Not really complicated, and that's it, okay. Now I'm going to create the other one. To edit this line, I'm going to show you how to do it because it's not easy. Properties, then go here, select the line. I select already this one with dash, but now you have to click here. Now, now double click here, and then you can change here the space. For example, for three, okay, apply, and you can see how it looks like. For me, that one looks good. Let me check and take this one out. Okay. Even even we can make uh, elements to properties. And this one two was not bad. Okay, apply. Yeah, that's not bad. Looks also good. This is, is the final edition for the gas station. We are going to leave like that. And we are going to be working with this gas station later in a different projects, doing different things. But that one is going to be in a different video. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one.